Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve exercise 14. We are going to find the transfer function for the system shown. So the transfer function is defined as the output over input in Laplace domain. So in this circuit, the output for us is the voltage that we get here. And the input is the voltage that we put in the system. We are going to use nodal analysis, which basically is telling us current in equals current out. The other name is KCL, Kirchhoff current law, or current in, current out. We need to select our node so we would be able to implement this law. This is one of the nodes that we select, call it node 1. And this is node 2. So for node 1, we have this node. So we have a current coming in, and the current's going out here, and the current going out. For each of the current, for this one, we have the voltage on each side Vs minus. The voltage here, I'm going to call it V1. We don't have the value for it. Vs minus V1 divided by the impedance, which is R for us. For this case, V1, one side is 0, so V1 minus 0, so the bottom part is 0, is grounded, or the impedance, Cs. And then for the resistance, you have V1 minus V0, over R. So we are gonna write this here. Vs minus V1 over R should be equal to V1 minus V0 over R plus V1 minus 0, 1 over Cs. If I rearrange this, multiply it by R, this will go away and that would be R Cs. V1 minus V0 plus RCS V1 minus 0. So I will have Vs equals, if I factor V1, I will have RCS plus 2V1. I have 1V1 one one here, 1V1 one here, and then that's 1V1 one here minus v naught. So I have v1 here that I don't like. I need to remove it and get rid of it. So for now, it's one of my equations. Then I will move to node 2 that I have here. For this node, for node 2, if I look at my node here, I have that v1 minus v naught over r and here i have v naught minus zero that is grounded over one cs so we just write this here v1 minus v naught over r equals v naught minus zero one cs i can find v1 let me write it here v1 minus v naught r cs V naught V one would be one plus R C S V naught. I would call that my equation two. If you remember we didn't like V one because that was an arbitrary voltage that we selected. We wanna find a ratio between in input and output, so I need to plug in my V one into my equation one. And therefore V S if I write it here, it would be RCS plus 2, 1 plus RCS, V0 minus V1. Let me separate this from the crowd. And now I can write Vs versus V. Then I can go back to my transfer function, VOS 
minus Vs. I don't have V1, so that would be 1, 1 plus 3R, Cs plus C squared, R squared, S squared, and that's my transfer function. Relation between the output and the input. I used KCL. I could have used KVL as well, but for these problems where we don't deal with the current, we don't need to bring the current in and then solve for it. We can just directly deal with the voltage when the transfer function is needed.